in the world of YouTube, there are two equally important sides. Those who choose to view and support the YouTube channels and those who choose to do the reviews. These are their stories. Howdy folks, it's Kato here with another third party Transformers review. Today I'm going to take a look at New Age The Legendary Heroes H33 Barreth and H34 Paimon. It's, it's Long Haul and Hook, Hook and Long Haul. That's who it is from this point out. It's the final two Constructicons in their Legend Scale Devastator. Hephaestus is their third party name. And I couldn't wait to get these in front of the camera. So I won't waste your time with a long introduction. We're going to roll the intro and get started looking at New Age Legendary Heroes H33 Barreth and H34 Paimon. Kato. Like always, the first thing I want to do is take a look at the packaging. Before I get into that, I do want to say something. I used a store, a retailer that I had never used before. It's an eBay store that goes by Baba Bobo 00712. Yes, I know that's a mouthful. And I know there are folks out there that have heard of them before and used them and said great things about them. Uh, let me tell you, they are all 100% true. Fantastic store, great prices. Um, the shipping is slow, but it's not their fault. It's coming from overseas. Sometimes it takes a while. That's not their fault, uh, especially with the things that are going on now in the shipping world. But here's why I bring that up. They packaged this thing so well. Uh, and even though they packaged it so well, the USPS did this much as they possibly could to try and damage it and it still didn't work. I did get this little crease here in the corner. I'm not a package collector, but that's why I think it's worth mentioning. Uh, the box that it came in uh, was trashed um, for the most part, but thankfully because of how Baba Bobo packaged it, everything came out just fine. So the packaging itself, you've got hook and long haul here on the front or engineer Barris and Paimon or Paimon. Uh, on the side, you've got a look at their Hephaestus Devastator with Long Haul and Hook on the side here. And on the back, you've got your pretty traditional uh, New Age artwork holding Energon cubes and some little poses there. Uh, the packaging is it's funny. I don't know why, but uh, you, Tobby, and I, fellow Reject the Con, we're talking. It looks very KO, <laughs> but I don't care. It's fine. I don't save the packaging, but that is what it looks like. Just like with the other uh, Constructicons in this set, you get six Energon cubes. So yeah, plenty of Energon cubes when it's all said and done. Uh, you can see they're kind of sticky. They stick together. It's that same. It's a gummy type of plastic. They're a little bit uh, smushy. Is that a good word? Rubbery, but. I like these and I think it's cool. Now I have a ton of little Energon cubes. Also like the others, you get two golden trumpets. Uh, you do get two of these. They are identical. They slip right into the palm of their hand, just like the rest of them. Now you can complete the coronation scene from the movie. Thanks to these trumpets. As far as weapons go, I believe this is Hook's gun. Uh, that's what I'm going to go with. I believe his gun had the sight on the top. So I'm going to say this is Hook's gun. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Simple molding, not a lot of detail, but it's it's kind of what they're going for with this. A very simplistic, cartoony look. And of course you have Long Haul's weapon here, a little pistol. Looks a little more hollow, but still gets the point across just fine. And of course you have the instructions. Very simple transformation, not very complicated at all. Uh, this doesn't have the combined mode transformation that comes with the final set, which will likely be the next review of Devastator combined. They're fine. They work perfectly well and easy to read and understand. I'm going to go through the transformation here as well, though. And finally, that brings us to Barreth and Paimon, Hook and Long Haul themselves. And first impressions out of the box, they're beautiful. I think they look amazing. Again, they're going for a very cartoony simplistic g1 kind of look uh, but I, th I think that works 
they feel really solid out of the box everything looks good not a lot of hollow bits uh, we're going to take a look at both of them individually let's take a look at hook first getting up close and personal with hook i think the head sculpt is beautiful i love that red paint there on the goggles or the glasses nice detailed head sculpt uh, it looks about as accurate as you could want it to you got the gray here on the chest of course the purple all around uh gray legs some pur purple paint here on the feet nicely detailed wheels we'll, we'll take a look at more in alt mode and the arms you can see the wheels again there you can see that it has the hinged uh, hands we'll go over that in articulation in a bit i think it looks phenomenal uh, the hook backpack what are you going to do that's this kind of par for the course comes with the territory but for the head the articulation uh, it is on a ball joint but because of how these pieces sit on the shoulder you can't really turn the head much at all so there's almost no articulation in the head again maybe i'm doing something wrong but i don't think i am the arms will rotate a full 360 uh, right here on this ball joint they do have a bit of a butterfly there because of transformation you get about 90 degrees you have a uh, swivel above the elbow you have rotation at the wrist and the uh, fingers open and close as well interestingly enough you do not have waist rotation that i see you do not you do have a nice ab crunch but no rotation at the waist bit of a disappointment there the legs will go out straight they're on a ball joint straight up straight back uh over 90 degrees uh, if you can get the foot out of the way you can get a nice deep knee bend there you have rotation at this mushroom peg here and you can bend at the i guess that would be the ankle and a tall ankle there this one is a is probably the most odd of the set as far as articulation goes but still i think he looks pretty spot on and that leads us into long haul in his robot mode and first impressions again fantastic i think he looks the part i like uh, the chest on there i love the legs with that red paint and the purple there we'll get a close-up look here in a second but one thing i do not like really is i don't like the wheels just kind of hanging out of the back there i think there are some things that they sacrifice uh maybe knowing that most folks are going to leave this in combined mode uh, but I just there's something off-putting about the wheels just chilling out in the back there Let's get a close-up look at it. so you definitely get that Traditional long-haul face very empty faced with the red uh, lenses The neck is a little skinny looking now that I look at it on camera It doesn't come across like that in person, but looking up close. I mean that looks a little skinny and strange, but it's fine just there's something weird about that now that I look at it up close. You've got uh, these nice wheels. I love how they're designing these wheels on these. You can see the lugs in there and the tire tread. I think that looks great. Uh, this nice dark gray for the arms. You can see the hinge there for the hands. We'll go over articulation in a bit. Black here on the chest. You can see the headlights, some more black and some purple there. Uh, green all the way down some red and purple there on the upper thigh going into our articulation the head is on a ball joint so you can rotate 360 and it will uh, if you want to break that sculpt you can look up very far and look down a reasonable amount the arms are on these ball joints here just like the others so you can rotate 360 you've got a ball joint here for rotation at the elbow a nice deep elbow bend for transformation the hands will rotate on this uh, it's not a it's a peg not a ball joint and open and close with that hinge uh, like some, most of the others he does have a nice deep ab crunch and this you actually do get a waist rotation the legs will go out back forward uh, the knee bend is strange because you have this transformation joint here Sorry, it's getting a little man, out of focus. But this, what's the actual knee joint? I think this is the actual knee joint, so you get that. But you can use this uh, extra bit of transformation joint here if you want to get some more bend. 
Um, you, I guess you could get these legs out of the, the wheels out of the way if you wanted to do something crazy with it. Yeah, I don't know. This one just seems a little more sloppy than the rest, but not quite, uh, not just not quite on par with the rest of the set. You've got some nice ankle tilt there. Um, yeah, I think it looks looks great. Not a lot of kibble or gross parts on the back other than, again, these wheels. Yeah, right on. For a quick size comparison, there they are against the Magic Square Scrapper. I think I'm going to lean towards the Devastator from New Age uh, and Bot Mode individual for Magic Square. The, if it was the Magic Square height and build, but with the New Age colors, I think it would be the perfect bot. And of course, what comparison wouldn't be complete without the whole team? That's right. The set is complete. All six New Age Constructicons on the shelf. I love it. Now, as we get into transformation, I'm going to start with hook. The first thing you're going to want to do is push in the head, rotate the waist. There's a small little door here. You're going to open that up on both arms. Just hinge that out. Now the arm, the hands don't actually fold in, so you're going to want to stretch those out. Now use this double hinge, the butterfly there for the shoulder and bring that in, bring that in, tuck all that together right along the side there. And the little hands are just going to sit just like that. Now you're going to close this back up. There's a hole there and a little peg there. Close that up to complete that. On the legs, you're going to open this up and open, oh, where are you at? Open this up. Same on this one, open and open. You can go ahead and peg these together, just like so. Then bring all this around and the hands will just tuck inside. Peg all that down. Now bring this is on a slider, so you're going to slide that out and then bring this down and you've got hook transformed. Really simple. Uh, I feel, yeah, yeah, there you go. Everything's all leveled out. Nothing really to neaten up here. I'll set him down and we'll take a look at him in alt mode. Very simple, very to the point, some molded detail inside. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I, I get the idea of going for G1 cartoon accuracy, but sometimes that can come across as very simple. Uh, you do have some uh, gray silver paint here, I guess for the headlights, purple here, what we saw on the foot. I got a little, oh, this just, I thought that was a scratch. You can see more purple on the windows and on the hook. You do get an extendable uh, hook and this, can move back and forth. I don't think, I think that's just silver paint, not die cast. And you can move that there. Uh, it will rotate around if you want it to. And I think the detail on the wheels is fine, but there is something just a little simple about how it looks. But again, that's, that's exactly what they were going for. Moving on to the transformation of long haul. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is put the head all the way back. Make sure that the hands are closed completely so that you can tuck those in back here and bring that elbow bend all the way up to the top there. Now, extend this out. You can see right here, there's a couple of little sliders. I'm gonna slide that all the way up this part gets a little tricky. So there is a peg right there and a slot right back here. You want to get this double joint all the way down and then rotate so that that peg will go in and line up like that. See if I can get a better view of that. Rotate the wheel around. Got that double hinge in here. The peg right there, get that in, make sure I can keep it on camera and tuck everything in so that, that peg slots in 
back here and this piece goes under the fender just like that coming down to the legs this piece right here is on a double hinge you're going to open that up and extend that down and what you want to do is get this little piece right here into that toe and help complete the bucket uh, same thing here extend this out you're really just stretching it out so you make a little slope there that will be the bucket and you can peg these together you got these two little spots here you're going to open up now let's get the cab straight and the wheels you can open up there stretch them out let's fold up and stretch out that'll give you room to bring the bucket around for that peg to go into that hole and line all that up ever so nicely and another peg here that will go into the top of the cab neaten that up a bit now with the wheels they look a little goofy there so you're just going to bring these back in and back out that whole point of that hinge is just to get them out of the way for transformation and with a little bit of finesse we can neaten it up and take a look at him in alt mode and I think this comes across really well. One of the hardest things that I've seen in a lot of Constructicon sets is to make the dump truck look like a dump truck and not just fill it in. So I appreciate how they did this little bit here to still kind of give you the feel of a dump truck without it just being flat across the top. I think the cab looks great. The purple paint there, the black on the fender that was the chest. Uh, a little weird that the exhaust is completely covered up, but what are you going to do about that? I think the wheels look really good. I like it. For a quick size comparison, there they are beside Breakdown from Magic Square. And Siege Red Alert with a little bit of Toy Hacks work. And there you have the entire set of Constructicons together. New Age, Legendary Heroes, Constructicons complete. Now let's talk about these two individually in their alt modes. Um... I don't know how to say this. They, they're kind of bland. They're kind of boring. But I know that's what they're going for. This was the G1 kind of to, uh, cartoon look. It's supposed to look simplistic. But in toy form, uh, it just comes across a little too simplistic. Maybe, just maybe, G1 cartoon accuracy might not be all it's cracked up to be, at least for me. Sometimes that can look a little bit boring. However accurate, you get what I'm saying. That being said, I think they look good. They look exactly how they're supposed to look. So New Age did nothing wrong. It's just a matter of taste. Now, in robot mode, virtually the same thing can be said, although because you see more of the colors, it looks a little more complete. You can see more of that purple in there. Again, there are things I don't like about Long Haul. I don't like these wheels that uh, just kind of stand out in the middle of nowhere. It's not, it's just, it's not attractive. The biggest gripe I think is on hook and that is the complete lack of waist articulation and head articulation. But I believe that's gonna be because of how he gets folded up and shoved into that big accessory pack that becomes actually Devastator. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate you guys spending your time with me. I'm well on my way to 4,000 subscribers by TFCon. I think as of this filming, I am only 30 subscribers away, and only you guys can help me complete that goal. But I have a lot of reviews coming up in the next week and leading up to TFCon, so be on the lookout for more content. Thank you guys so much, and until next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut. Kato!